She started talking shit, didn't like me, didn't like what I was doing. I was like, wow, what have I done? She just doesn't like what I'm doing and how I am. I mean, look, it, to me, it's a shame it got me all over again, so I'm a little bit bored of it, I'm not gonna lie. Nervous about uh, Ebony maybe giving you a bit of smack? Not at all. <laughs> Absolutely not at all. Thanks, Mummy. What's her name? Mummy. Cuzzy, we're here, man. It's cold. Cold, 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 cold. Shannon time. Shannon the cannon time, baby. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Leeds. And after a roller coaster year of Taylor Serrano at Madison Square Garden, of course, Lee Wood against Michael Condon, one of the fights of the year. Canelo against Bivol, Canelo against Triple G, AJ against Usyk. Last week, Chocolatito against Estrada. All around the world, it ends on Saturday night in Leeds with an unbelievable night of boxing. Yeah, yeah, can't wait for it. I've done over 500 tickets for the term Saturday. Yeah, yeah, so I'm looking forward to putting a good performance on. It's the best, the best stage to be on, so I'm just proud to be part of it again. Yeah, you know, the final box to tick before um, a big 2023, you know, I think this is my last eight rounder. Yeah, another statement, statement performance I'm looking to put on on a Saturday night. And then uh, I'm coming for all the titles in the Super Bantamweight division in 2023, you know. I've had four fights this year. Well, I will do come Saturday. And ideally, I like to get a stoppage. So it's four out of four. I'll be, I'll be happy days with that. So yeah, we'll wait on Saturday. I'm ready to put on a clinical, fine thing with performance. You know, I'm just trying to get as much experience as I can in the ring. And I'm just really looking forward to putting a performance on Saturday. I've had a year out due to having quite a big injury, two operations. At one point, I was told I'd never box again. So. Back, back on the big stage straight away. I'm, I'm buzzing. Yeah, I plan on taking this show over. All right, this fight is gonna be like a main event with Josh Warrington and Lopez as, as my undercard. I'm gonna show you guys that I'm not going home without without that strap. Cause like I'm, I'm one of the best junior junior middleweights in the world. I will show that come Saturday night. They don't know that yet, but we got two days, guys. Over really, Sean, I'm very confident, but you no, know, I'm confident as well, and I believe. I'm going to win and that belt's not going anywhere. Anyway. We're getting Ebs out of the way um, and then, like you say, I'm a William wants it. Um, he's got a big mouth so I'll, um, I'd happily shut him up. One of the things you did say, I'd just like to pull this out because I found it. You said she's not a skanky stripper, she's a skanky wannabe stripper. She is skank, that's for sure, but I've seen strippers that look nicer than her. I mean, this is serious, serious levels for this stuff, you know. And, I wanted just to, to bring those words to your attention and, and you, this is this is for real, this rivalry. The remarkable thing is you've never met no. before this fight week. No, but I mean, do you like every every everyone that you see on TV? Do you like them? You, you don't have to like everyone that you've met. She's making herself a public figure and she's putting herself out there to be judged. That's yeah. just what happens. Honestly, she can say whatever she wants. It's boring. I've been hearing it for years, like it's boring. Uh, I'm more focused on me and what I've got to do that night. not really thinking much about her. Um, you know, I've got to just do what I've got to do and get that win. Claro que sí, la verdad es que muy contento por la oportunidad más que nada de estar aquí. Yeah, of course, um, first and foremost, thanks for the opportunity. It's great to be here once again and this time to be facing a champion. This won't be the exception. I always come here uh, as a warrior for war and I won't be going home without that world title. He's full of confidence, isn't he? He's like a fucking kid on whisk, walking about like, 
Ric Flair, woo, woo, being some decent guys along the way, but I just don't feel that he's mixed in the same level that I've been in with, and he's certainly not had a fighter like me. That's it. To the front first, please. Face to face, please. That's my guy. It's <laughs> fine that you didn't want. Yeah. I'm scared. No. Definitely not. Oh, what she says I mean about you. Yeah. Fucked now, bitch. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. Luis. Good luck, boys. Come on. Just in case it kicks off, you know, we've always got badges ready, so sort sort stuff out and that. You know, you, you don't really have to do well. As long as people see badge, everybody sorts to settle oh, down anyway. Maxi, mate, yeah, no that, bother, mate. That's how no it bother. is, yeah. Well, well, mate, we're on our way out. We're on our way out. <laughs> <laughs> Should see it at school playground. I walk and, you know, like when they were at Moses, who went to sea, opened up. <laughs> it's like that of people when I walk at school playground. All women <laughs> is on about. <laughs> All mums. <laughs> It's an hard fight for Ebony. It's an hard fight, yeah. It's a, it's a proper fight, mandatory. It's not a fight they would have looked for in a first event. Very, it's a very hard first event, but hopefully she comes through. I like Ebony. We've got made friends seeing around the matchroom circuit and things, so hopefully she pulls it through, but it's an hard fight. Get this on, yeah. My mother, I'm causing my own mayhem, yeah. I'm getting my mum to sort out my tickets, ironing my clothes, everything like that. I'm a bad son, really, but... You ought to make use of him while you've got the time, because Bassoon should be booting me out of the house, you know what I mean? I did think I was going to do the Grinch, but obviously, I think Errol Spence did the white, not the white fur, the green fur. So I thought, now I have to do Santa instead, so there it is, a bit of Christmas for you, innit? I don't celebrate Christmas, so it is what it is, I'm a Muslim brother, but oh well, it's alright, innit? It's a bit of a kit. Yeah. Well, a kit. But my mum's, my mum's not a Muslim, so my mum decided to do that, so I kept my mum happy, you've got to keep her happy otherwise. Right, give us five things, five fight week essentials. My weighing scales, they're essential. Always need them, they're 100 quid they are. A fridge with food, my fight food, that's my last one. Salmon, whatever it is. Salad, big up Lee card, elite science, everything. Oh yeah, of course, that's <laughs> four. And then a toothbrush, because hygiene, do you know what I mean, hygiene. So big up the toothbrush, mine's pink. So, yeah, for all you but don't brush your teeth, you're done out, but yeah. Big up cocoa butter. It's my black brothers what use this a lot. Like, so I just took that off him because they all look like smooth skin, so I thought, you know what, I need to rob that, so yeah. Oh yeah, why are you JD Boston? Is D your middle name? Janaid, so okay. I don't know, Janaid, so everyone, and I think JD. I got, in primary school, everyone took the mickey out of it. You know, not mickey out of it, but went, oh, JD, after the shop, and it just stuck, so everyone's went JD Boston. Oh, okay. It just stuck. So JD is actually after the shop, JD? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how oh. it is, it's stuck around, so. Sharp. I could tell by your facial expressions you was a bit scared sometimes when you hear them now joking. But no, no, she's sharp. She's sharp. She's really excited. Um, I'm excited. I think Shannon's the only one that really brings them knockouts in that division. You know what I mean? Inshallah, come Saturday. Let's see what Saturday brings. We're here at the Alliance Boxing Club in Leeds, of course, this weekend, Leeds' very own Josh Warrington, defending his world title, but more importantly, coming down to one of the most important places in the community in Leeds, amateur boxing clubs, as we have been all year, to make sure these guys have got plenty of equipment, make sure we've got some new pads for them, new boxing gloves, skipping ropes, equipment, to make sure that these clubs can continue to provide for kids in the community. Could have got me a beard or something, you know? What? <laughs> right, champ? Yeah, How are you? Yeah? 
doing? That's where Josh started. How old are you? You see, Nina, Nina Hughes just won the world title at 40 in Dubai. Oh, you know what I mean? I know, oh, come on, come on. You're two brothers? Yeah. yeah. Even more reason to bash each other up there. What's the matter with you? Oh, I've started it off now. It's going to be a war. We've got Eddie Earns from Matchroom Boxing. Obviously I want you to pay attention, show some respect, so listen up. Well, good evening everyone, and I'm, I'm here as a fan watching you. You can fight, you can fight. Where's those two just smashing each other up? They're still going, unbelievable. <laughs> I just wanted to come down. Obviously we've got a big show on Saturday with Josh Warrington, and uh, you know, Leeds is a big city for us. Job that, that Sean and everyone does, and, and the training team here. You're all, you're all really lucky that you've got people who are volunteering here for you. Right? These clubs are so important to the community and everything that you're doing here will mould you into the person that you become. All the things that you do. Who's, who's got a mobile phone in here? All right, throw it in the bin all right, when you get home. This is where you need to be. All right? Discipline, respect, manners, understanding about hard work, winning, losing. But you always must make sure you listen to your coaches and your training team. All right? Come on, let's go to work now. And again. And again. Yes, let's go, champ. Hard hair. Can we have a little? Can we have a little plank competition? Yeah. Plank. Come on, what's the matter with you? The winner. I'll do it. The winner wins two VIP tickets. Saturday night for Josh Warrington, right? I'll be alright. Right, off we go. Come on, I'm already down. Make sure I want to see straight backs, coach. Apart from mine. Yeah, I'm like, no, it's the floor. No, I'm on the slippery bit. I'm not shaking, it's just a, it's just slippery. <laughs> I've got a suit on a tire, the shoes are slipping. It's a good idea. What I'm gonna do is. No. I just thought it'd be best if I was walking around and helping out and overseeing things. He's out. One down. There's no, there's no shame in quitting. I'll just never talk to you again. Oh, man down over there. Okay, we're getting down to... Oh, here we go. They're falling. They're falling like flies. Oh, a man down here. What's the matter? Why are you giggling? He can't stop giggling over here. Two left, two youngsters. Come on, boys, who wants it more? Right, you've got 50 seconds to survive, and it's a tie. Come on, boys. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, well done, boys. Round of applause, the two champs, look at that. How's your abs? How's your abs? Right, so listen, we're going to make sure that we send some other tickets down as well for the rest of you guys for, for Saturday night, if you're not coming already. These two will be sitting with us up the front, yeah? Come and meet the fighters backstage as well. Good effort, well done. Keep working hard, good effort. Well done, everybody. Dan, take a snap.